Hi everyone, welcome again to Handy Dandy Husband. Today I'll be showing you a quick five minute repair that you can perform on your Sony PlayStation 4 with minimal tools and no soldering. This repair will specifically address a no signal or no external input error associated with what some call the blue screen of death on your PlayStation 4 console. Let's begin. Many people have experienced issues with their PlayStation 4 relating to the console being unable to send a signal to the TV screen. I have noticed that some electronic repair specialists on YouTube and otherwise have claimed that this is due to an inherent weakness in the HDMI port. Typically, repair centers recommend replacing the HDMI port for this reason. Now, I don't really know and I don't have the expertise to truly say whether or not the HDMI port on PlayStation 4s is weak or inherently faulty. But as the video progresses and closer to the actual repair, I'll indicate to you areas where I think some improvement could be possible. Now, my son's PlayStation 4 Pro experienced a similar problem. And at first, I too thought I needed to replace the entire HDMI port. But I noticed a few things before firmly committing to the idea of doing a more aggressive repair. The things I noticed were specifically, one, the PlayStation HDMI contacts appeared discolored. The second thing I noticed was the HDMI cable had wear tracks on it. For an example, here's a new cable and the existing cable. Third, I noticed that the metal prongs on the PlayStation 4 HDMI input were flat. They did not protrude out like a normal input. As an example, look at the input on my TV HDMI ports. Notice how they project outwards a little. Notice the HDMI port on the PlayStation 4 and you'll see that there isn't a, pro a projection out of these two small prongs. And four, I tested the HDMI input uh, port a little bit in that I pressed it with my finger just to see if it would jiggle or, or if I could jog it or if there was an issue with the soldering of that HDMI port to the actual electronic board that's inside the PlayStation 4. In my case, the HDMI port did not wiggle, did not seem loose, so I thought that perhaps I could do some preliminary uh, cleaning and or rectification of the protrusion of those prongs. After noticing these things, I got the following items together for myself. I got isopropyl alcohol, 99% pure, a Q-tip, a pick, but as an alternative, if you don't have a, a metal pick, you can always use just a regular wooden toothpick. After I got these things together, I completed four steps to get the PlayStation working. Step number one is unplug the PlayStation. Step number two, replace the HDMI cable with a new or newer cable to make sure that the problem isn't with the HDMI cable itself. Also, when replacing the cable, insert the cable that's coming out of the PlayStation 4 into a different input or port in your TV, just to make sure the issue isn't with a specific TV port that you're plugging the PlayStation into. Step three, use a Q-tip and gently clean the exterior of the HDMI cable that's being inserted into the PlayStation 4. And very gently clean the contacts of the PlayStation HDMI contacts. Now, this is very difficult to do. See if you can try to do it gently. If you can't, just skip this step altogether. Note that if you're using a Q-tip, 
if uh, some of the fibers do get stuck inside the contacts, do remove them because if you leave them inside, they will cause problems later. Once you've done the cleaning on both the exterior of the cable and potentially on the contacts if they are dirty, step four is take a small pick as such or a toothpick as such. Once you have the pick or the toothpick, gently prop up these uh, metal pieces that are within the HDMI port so that they're no longer flush with the rest of the metal uh, portions of the port but rather are protruding out just a little. Now if you look at the neighboring port on the PlayStation 4 you'll see another uh, port made for something else, an auxiliary port, but you'll notice that there's two metal projections and the metal projections on the HDMI cable should project out about a millimeter or two but not more than that not as high as the neighboring port anyways now it's important to remember that when you are pulling the prongs back into position that you do so very very gently and you don't do not use excessive force if you do use excessive force there's a possibility that you could snap them right off so be very gentle and gently just nudge them back up once that is done plug in the power cable into your PlayStation 4, insert the HDMI cable, and turn on the PlayStation. It should work now. Now, if for whatever reason it doesn't work at this stage, I would recommend trying to power down the PlayStation and trying a second time to power it back on. On my own son's PlayStation 4, this required uh, both a reset and a second boot up for it to work properly. Now if it doesn't work after the third reset, then it's more likely a more aggressive repair is required and you may need to replace the HDMI port. But I found that this worked really well for us. Thanks for watching and please leave any comments or questions below. I'd be very interested to know if this too helps you out without going the more aggressive route of replacing the HDMI port. Till next time, this is Handy Dandy Husband.